Two down here in the bottom of the first. Ripped out to left. That ball's got distance. See you later. St. Francis on the board first. Hernandez leaves the yard. 3-0 St. Francis. St. Francis is the home team undefeated in this NEC season and a no doubter. There's a reason that phrase exists. It's for balls like this one off the bat. An absolute crushing shot by Hernandez. Homered yesterday, homers today. Total of five RBIs for Hernandez so far. And Rachel Marsden sends this one a deep drive. Out to center, back to back Jacks. 4-0 St. Francis. I would celebrate like that too if I jacked that one to right field. And guess what? Rachel Marsden hitting it to where her mom sits every game. Right field to watch her daughter play. Two one. Smoked. That's gone. Grand slam. St. Francis leads eight nothing. How about this celebration? I don't think there's any warning here. <laughs> Clear them, Yulon, be patient. And at this point, St. Francis, the home team, a hit-a-thon, a home run-a-thon. Can you clear this tent? If you're Yulon, you can. Now, if you're at home, you might be thinking, why pull Kowalski? She had such a successful first game, didn't she? That's punched out to center field and off the glove of Lepinto. It sneaks over. They say home run. It's 10-0 St. Francis. Lepinto had a great read. She got to the wall, but it's hard to catch a ball at the wall of a field. You're not used to the dimensions of. She got to the fence but didn't see the ball into her glove. A great piece of hitting after the pitching change by Arishchak. Ah, hate to see it. Braley working that change up for a strikeout right here. She was keeping this batter guessing throughout the entire at bat. And what do you do when you know you have her on her toes? Keep her on her toes, throw the off speed inside. Morgan Teodosio smacks one, and it's caught by Ashley Rubel. That's how this ball game ends. The Red Flash take it 11 nothing, and are headed back to the NEC title game for the first time since 2022. We'll take another look as to how this one finishes out, and why not sprinkle in a web gym to put the finishing touches on this win. First off, congratulations. You're going back to the NEC championship game, and you had a huge performance from the plate. That grand slam proved to really break things open. Talk a little bit about what you saw at the plate. Um, I was seeing the ball really well. I was seeing a lot of pitches up, a lot of balls, but um, I was just looking for my pitch, and obviously I found it, but um, I was just seeing it really well, and I felt really good in there. <laughs> Olivia, you look like you felt good, and now you have two crowns on. I want to give you a chance, though, <laughs> to have a little selfless talk. Talk to me about how easy it is to play defense when Grace Vesco is on the mound. Um, it's so easy. She kills it out there. She looks so confident, and that makes everyone else feel so much more confident on the field, and we killed it on defense. Grace killed it. Allie killed it. It was an all-around <laughs> great day for us. You have as many props as runs you just scored on that Grand Slam. <laughs> Olivia, congrats on the win. Congrats on your team being part of history. And thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. Go Flash. <laughs> Olivia, thanks for joining us. And good luck in the championship as the Queen of Loretta <laughs> thank you. has been crowned here in Pennsylvania. As we get the head coach 
Beth Kreisik to join us. It looks like the good old fashioned handoff of headset going on right now. Here's Coach Kreisik. Coach, first off, your team is going back to the NEC Championship game in your first year at the helm. How does that feel? It feels great. I mean, these girls have a lot of fight in them. They got a lot of heart, and uh, we just came out ready today. Coach, we talked earlier this week, and you told me you like to keep it simple. What was your approach heading into this game against Sacred Heart? Yeah, we had a good series against them this year. We hit really well in that series, and so we really just kept the same approach. It was pick a good pitch, get your barrel out, swing hard. Nothing too crazy, and, you know, Grace, I think, pitched well in the series against them too, so it was just a matter of staying with the same approach. We know how we pitched them last time it worked, so we just kept that same approach. Well, Coach, congratulations on the win. Go get rested up and dried up as well, as we'll see you later this weekend. Awesome. Thanks, guys.